the <coughs> last episode. I had a listen, and man, it was such a great experience because I felt like a real fan of the show. Uh, yeah. I got to listen to an episode I wasn't on, on the yeah. train. I was like, oh my God, I'm just such a regular person. It was the most down-to-earth experience. And yeah. uh, I kind of see the appeal of the show. Of the, of the show. Like, like you, I never like, really... Now that you're not in it, you understand why it might be good? Yeah, like I never really got it. Like I think neither of us did. We we're like, this is... I don't know why people like this. And then, you know, like Keelan shitting on the disabled, getting up and mm. leaving throughout the episode, a bit of farts. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit of fun while you're going about your day. Yeah. Exactly. Like yeah. I, I was kind of just eating coals and having a bit of a smirk along, and I feel like that must be pretty relatable <laughs> to a lot of people listening. There might be someone listening now in coals. Yeah, <laughs> and then maybe you know what are you getting from coals? If you're if you're at coals right now, what are you getting? What's in your basket? Sound off in the comment section below. We'd love to know. But yeah, um, and I got like the real um the real listener experience. Like as I got up to one of the what I think was one of the good bits, I couldn't hear much of it because a bunch of school kids came on yeah. my train and mm. ruined it for me. So that's pretty relatable as yeah, well. Yeah, that when is you're trying to listen to something, and then eighteen year olds or sixteen year olds came on and just started screaming. Boomer That's Luke awesome. has entered the chat. These bloody yeah. kids are ruining my podcast Mate, the, experience. The, yeah, I'm trying to listen to bloody ableist chat and some farts on my train, all right? <laughs> <laughs> the least you kids could do is show a bit of respect. No, it was uh, a bit of fun, guys. So, well done, Keelan. Thank you very much for uh, taking my place. Um, yeah. There was a few problematic things said. Yeah, a bit of a you. performance I review, so. I think, uh, is is needed. Obviously, I gave Keelan a pretty good uh, halfway through and then post-performance review. Uh, mm-hmm. As, uh, you know, the second half of the leadership team here at Luke and Lewis, why don't you give your own performance review <coughs> to, for Keelan? As a co-host, I thought <coughs> you were great. Really yeah, good, you. strong, mm-hmm. and uh, if anything, was actually a pleasant surprise of me being gone. I was like, man, this Luke guy sucks. Keelan's yeah. great. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Yeah, I think everyone thought that, yeah. Yeah, but as a human being, a performance review, you are a bad fucking person, man. Pick yeah. up your dog shit. It's, I think it's getting tired on the show. Like, you know how, like, whenever Joey says something dumb in Friends yeah. by, like, season eight, you're like, all right, cool, man, we get it. You're stupid. At, at this point, like, when are you going to shart? When are you going to shart? When are you going to shart, mate? When are you going to pick up your dog shart? When are you going to start showing respect for people it's kind of like becoming your trope on the show and now you're in a bathtub kind of proving my point (laughs) i'm just being the truest form of me i can be (laughs) and if that is not picking up someone else's dog's shit no it's your dog you're walking it that's your problem (laughs) it's not my dog it's a housemate's dog not my dog it's somebody else's dog shit (laughs) Then Am don't walk it. Why don't you just send them a photo of, of where the dog shit? You go, hey, man, your dog pooed <laughs> over here. Here's the coordinates. Come pick it up. I could. I mean, <laughs> I did, you know what it is with karma? I st- stood in that dog shit and trampled it in the house with me later that <laughs> afternoon. Oh, so on the way back, you stood in its shit. <laughs> That's karma, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? Killen probably thought it was funny. He was like, yeah, well, your dog shouldn't be shitting everywhere. So now it's in the house. Good on you. <laughs> and then Phoebe was really upset with me for bringing dog shit into a new car. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, you know, it would have been real calm if he slipped on a dog shit and became a paraplegic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he would have had to park in his own spot. He would have been yeah, like, that would be some real self-esteem issues. I just hate myself. Mm. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it was a great episode. And um, definitely a bit of fun.